This video will show you how you can use Google Slides to make very simple stop motion animations. Let's take a look. First thing you need to do is open up Google Slides. If you go to your open your app launcher, you can go to Google Slides here. You'll need to start a new blank project. And I don't need any captions or anything, so I'm just going to highlight and backspace to get rid of those right away. Now, I'm going to do a very simple stick person animation. I do recommend starting with something very simple while you're getting the hang of this. I'm going to have a smiley face as an image, and then I'm going to draw my stick body. So to get an image, I'm going to go to the insert image, the little picture of the mountains there. I'm going to search the web. This is important. I'm going to search for something with the word transparent with it. Transparent means that it won't have a border around the outside. So I'm going to look for a smiley face. Transparent. I can look right there. Now I can choose any smiley face that I like the look of. When you choose one, you'll insert it. Want to see that? There we go. Click insert. Now I'm going to resize the picture to make it, you know, more or less the size of a person's head here. Now I can use the line tool here to draw in my body. Now the line tool is right here. It'll be nice and straight lines. Oops. Choose it, there we go. And there's my body down to about there. I can draw in my legs. And my arms. And I'm noticing that these sticks are really thin. Like I can see them, but not very well. If you want to thicken up your, your lines, you can highlight anything that you want and go to line weight right here. I'm going to go down to a four to make it a little thicker. Once you have your very simple stick figure, now you're ready to start animating it. And to do that, you're going to be copying the page, the slide, over and over again. So control D, I'm holding down control, press D. That makes an exact copy of that slide. And now I can change just a little bit. Remember, animation is just changing a little bit at a time through lots and lots of different frames. So let's say I want to have this arm move. Well, I'm going to move it just a tiny bit, and then I'm going to Control D, copy the frame. Go back to that arm, move it just a little bit, and copy. It isn't hard at this point, but it is a little tedious. You have to just do this over and over. Move a little, and copy. If you try to go too quickly and move too much at a time, it will make your anima animation look kind of jerky. And we're going to try to make them look as smooth as we can by moving the same amount each time, each frame. And I'm just making a very simple animation of a hand coming up. Now, I'm only using 10 frames at this point, but it is probably enough that I can start to see my animation. So if I go back to the bottom, I'm just using the arrow on my keyboard to scroll through quickly, and you can see it go all the way up. And if I go back up, it can go up and down. So again, this is a very simple sh demonstration of how you can use Google Slides to make an animation. You may want to add a background. I do want to show you a couple of different examples. But I do want to just mention, if you wanted to create a background for yours, you can certainly do that by, again, looking in the images. I'm going to search the web. Maybe I want to do a fish in water scene. So I'm going to do cartoon water scene. And you can look through. If you find something that you like, you can certainly Choose that. I don't know what I want here. There's a stream. I could insert that. And now I could have it actually fill my whole space. There we go. And now maybe I want to insert a fish that could swim in the, the water and jump out. Maybe I'll do one more image search and I'll find a fish. Oop, but I need to fish transparent. I could use one of these realistic fish if I want to. I think I like this one that looks like Nemo. 
it's too big, but I can make it small. And I can drop them in the water. And now I'm ready to start. So now I've got my new one. I'm copying that. And now I'm going to move my fish a little bit. And then copy that and move my fish a little bit. Again, this is how we can start to make an animation, an animated object move. I have a couple of very quick examples from where I started. Here we go. I actually added some words in here and put in a skateboard and off he goes. You can see that I have a lot of frames to get them all the way off the page, and then poof, there he goes, the end. But I will point out that that simple animation was 140 slides. It goes quickly. If I did a fish one I wanted to show you here, again, I can have it jump, splash, do a flip, and splash again. I found that splash by looking for splash transparent. Again, I look forward to seeing what kind of creative things you can do with your Google Slides stop motion animation. Have a good day, everyone.